Hey, what's up? I'm Alex Miller, writer for Bowser Pretension and Film Inquiry, and this is the Trailer Project. Uh, for this entry, we are going to take a trip down the annals of true crime cinema with Ian Merrick's 1977 film, The Black Panther. Named after one of England's most notorious serial killers, whose killing spree came to a close after a bungled kidnapping scheme. Merrick's film was actually banned due to the sensitivity of the material and the power of dumb people in their media campaigns. However, it's now available to see thanks to the British Film Institute's Flipside Blu-ray series. They're pretty awesome. Check them out. Um, and it's also interesting to note that aside from Jack the Ripper, we don't really hear a lot about serial killers and true crime stories from across the pond. So, without further ado, let's check out the trailer for The Black Panther, which is in no connection to the character from the MCU and the film that just came out this year that's really popular and won a bunch of Oscars. As far as true crime stories go, this one's pretty accurate. Given the close proximity of the film's release, the public felt like this was a cheap cash grab exploitation movie, which is everything the film is not. Actually, Merrick's film is a rare case of a low-budget crime film that doesn't sensationalize its material. It's stark, vivid, accurate, and doesn't glorify its subject. It actually portrays the real Nielsen as a creepy weirdo with too much time on his hands. He's an ex-military guy who plays with his guns, knives, and fatigues like a boy playing make-believe. At times he looks childish and even kind of dumb. But, however, he's not playing, which is all the more terrifying. Uh, the real Donald Nielsen's crime spree started with robbing post offices. Um, there's an unnerving method of presentation in the film, it's meticulous and bold, and Donald Sumter's portrayal of Nielsen is quite freaky. And it does seem like an intentional move on the filmmaker's part. You can tell this guy thinks he's hot shit, but he's actually kind of an asshole. His robberies aren't really that well conceived, he's kind of a klutz. He is actually, you can see him injure himself, and I think that's important in the film's conception. It doesn't really portray this guy as a rebel or an idealist, he's just kind of a dick. So Nielsen earned the name the Black Panther due to the black hood that he wore. He is crime spree started by um, robbing post offices and then subsequently killing the postmasters who were um, living in residence. However, the most high profile case was the kidnapping of Leslie Whittle, a teenage heiress. Like all kidnappings, this went terrible. Donald Sumter's unnerving portrayal of Nielsen is really haunting. He's a very talented actor. Um, his screen credits include a, probably most notably, the National Anthem Black Mirror episode. You know, the one with the pig. Um, oddly enough, Ian Merrick's directing career isn't really that expansive. He's only got one other feature film to his name. Uh, which is too bad because The Black Panther really is a wonderfully made film. Uh, it's very stark, it's very uncompromising. It's also very effective as a procedural a true crime film. And just a compelling tale that's one of those freaky, you can't make this stuff up kind of things. Despite the ban, there's a great Blu-ray thanks to the BFI Flipside series. If it sounds like I'm plugging the Flipside series, maybe I am. Yay, give me free stuff. Thank you for watching the trailer project. Hit like or subscribe. I'm Sean Connery telling you to have a good night and to keep those cameras safely rolling. <laughs> Scotland. <laughs>